body well in terms of every part of their muscles to come into this competition and trying to win it. It's one of the coveted uh, competition. Remember, you have the likes of uh, uh, Mr. Kericho and Miss Kericho. You have the likes of Mr. Kamega. But the Mr. and Mrs. Kenya Bodybuilder Federation is one of the biggest competition in terms of bodybuilding in the country. Well, it's so fantastic even uh, to try and catch up with some of these, uh, uh, some of the officials and the, the competitors to tell us more about the competition. What is bodybuilding? Because it's a relatively unknown sport to many. Well, currently, Florence, I'm joined by the chairman, the current chairman. In fact, there are things I need to clarify. Uh, the election just happened uh, a fortnight ago, and Chris Amedo was re-elected as the chairman. You know, uh, before I say that the, the election is about to happen, but he was re-elected as the chairman of the Kenya Bodybuilding Federation for another four years. So the next election is going to happen after four years. Chris Amedo is the person uh, who is handling the federation that is tasked with running the sport in the country. Bona Chris Amedo, uh, thanks for giving us platform to talk to you. You know, you have a lot to say about the Kenya Bodybuilding Federation and bodybuilding as an industry in Kenya. Chris, first of all, we are at the Mr. and Mrs. Kenya Bodybuilding Federation. The biggest question will be, uh, people would want to know about the credibility of the competition. What are the criteria in terms of judging who wins the competition uh, and what do you look at to know that this person deserves to be the champion? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Peter. Uh, as you've just said, uh, my name is Chris Omedo. I'm the National Chairman of Kenya Bodybuilding Federation. Um, right now we are having uh, our national event, Mr. and Miss Kenya National Bodybuilding Competition, here at the uh, Nairobi Hospital Convention Center, second floor. Uh, going to your question, uh, what we are looking into in terms of uh, judging is that um, uh, an athlete has to give us a well-conditioned, defined, proportional body. Uh, and also, we're also looking at the presentation uh, in general, how you present yourself on stage, how well your muscles are, uh, yes, the, how well your muscles are um, developed, uh, how well you've uh, managed to do away with the water and fat uh, on your body so that your muscles come out clearly. Yeah. Chris, you are the chairman. You are the chairman now. I mean, you have been re-elected to the office again. So what have you been doing right that the, the, the stakeholder decided that it's, uh, I think we should reward him with an extra four years? Actually, my history uh, speaks for itself. Because when I took over the reign of this um, sport four years ago, it was dead. I've managed to, with my team that is, to bring it to the level where it is international uh, uh, standards. And we are trying to ensure that the structures that we have put in place work for the good of the sport. I think, uh, and also we've uh, actually managed to uh, capture a lot of uh, fan base. Uh, we have a huge following actually. We also have our fan uh, Facebook page that has over 10,000 followers. We have an Instagram uh, which also has so many followers and we are continuing. Yeah, we've gone deep down into um, the grassroots to ensure that uh, we get uh, raw talent from there for continuity of this sport. And from the look of things, even right now at my back, you can see that uh, we have ladies, something that never used to be there. When we took over uh, the reign of the sport, we didn't have uh, ladies participating, but uh, we encouraged them. Uh, gradually, they picked up and liked the sport. And right now, we have several ladies, actually over, today we have over 25 participating in this kind of um, a sport. Actually, you'd want to match the international standards of this uh, kind of sport. Uh, also, uh, we have managed to be recognized by the government. Uh, that was uh, sometime this year when we were given a certificate by the government. And went further to be recognized by the International Federation of Bodybuilding uh, and Fitness. That is in uh, Madrid. And um, also I would want to tell you that uh, I've been invited by the international governing body to attend the World Men's uh, Championship and Congress, which will be taking place next week in Spain.
So that is a huge uh, recognition and a plus to the Kenyan bodybuilding fraternity. Yeah. I mean, Chris, from the little history I know about bodybuilding, uh, back in the 18s, 18s, it was introduced by the Greeks and uh, I think a combination of the, uh, the Asian Greeks and the Egyptians, and it was just an entertainment sport. A lot has changed internationally. It's uh, not just an entertainment. It's not just for entertainment. People are making money out of bodybuilding. But locally, is this happening with the local bodybuilders? Uh, sure. Uh, it's uh, actually happening. I'm not bragging, but uh, this is something that is evident because uh, most of our athletes have been given this platform. Have, we've managed to expose them to the media and out of that, it's not only about competition here. Uh, they've managed to earn a living by getting personal training from those who are not able to go to the gym. Uh, some have competed at international uh, stage and uh, in amateur bodybuilding you know you're not supposed to be given cash prizes you're supposed to be given certificates and medals but as guys went a notch higher and introduced cash prize which this is something that has been consistent for all the years that we've been in the office we give you cash and uh, in all the 39 successful events that we've held We've never had any complaint of any athlete who won Kukosa Pesa Kulipwa. Yes. So we are proud of this. And the platform that we give them here make our athletes get endorsements from several companies. Right now, I'm glad to tell you that there are several billboards. For example, the one for House Manji, we have our athletes, own athletes on the billboards. We have one with the billboard Kenya breweries. So that is a plus. Yeah. I think where the conversation is going, you'll have to give me money for the adverts that you're mentioning right now. But again, that's something we are going to talk about. Chris, I know in terms of women, uh, the today's competition, in last year's edition, you invited an international bodybuilder. Uh, are we going to see a similar situation this year's uh, edition where maybe someone is coming, will come in to try and maybe talk to these bodybuilders and inspire them to even uh, want to do it internationally? Uh, we, I think the level that we reached last year, culminated to what we are doing right now because we can't keep on doing one thing same time day in day out for this particular event just as mentioned i want us to nurture raw talent given that we gave them something different like by bringing in an olympiad that was william bonak who rated third last year and this time he managed fifth position overall in mr olympia we are going to do something different as from next year. Yeah. You mentioned about Mr. Olympia, the biggest competition in terms of bodybuilding worldwide. Are we going to see a situation where Kenyan is going to win the competition very soon under your, your leadership? Uh, my main aim is to take uh, our bodybuilders to the 2020 Olympics in Japan. That is our main target. Uh, we have quite a number of our athletes who are doing pretty well out there at the international set. Mesha Koching just won three major titles with the Inba, yes. Then we also have uh, Sanya, the legendary son, the son to the legendary Mickey Ragos, who is doing pretty well. We have Samuel Kush doing wonders in the United States. We have uh, Michael Otieno, who did pretty well in his first competition. We have Christopher Okech, who another massive fella. You know, he's, he combines both uh, bodybuilding and the strongest man. And he's also doing pretty well in international, I mean, competitions. So I can say that um, uh, our athletes will one day represent us in uh, the real IFBB organized Mr. Olympia, apart from this other natural, natural bodybuilding contest. And uh, going by facts, those who have won Mr. Olympia, most of them have their roots back in Africa. Yes. So we have the talent, we can still make it in terms of winning the Mr. Olympia. Another quick question will be, uh, in terms of female uh, bodybuilders, it's a conversation that in, not just locally, but internationally, the female 
bodybuilders. Back in the days, they didn't have uh, the, the right support in terms of them uh, coming into the competition. But it's slowly changing with a fair number of them coming in. What is the Kenya Bodybuilding Federation doing? I know currently the competition going now, uh, ongoing uh, is for the ladies. What are the, the, your, your federation doing to try and en encourage as many ladies as possible to come into the sport? We are giving them uh, uh, also a platform to showcase themselves. Initially, we used to have challenges because of culture-related issues, but with time, we managed to talk to them, encourage them, synthesize them, uh, and uh, here we are. Yes, it's growing. We are going to see more of them coming. Definitely, I, I can remember in our first contest, we only had two ladies, but uh, the following year, the number increased to around 10 then we went up until now we have over 20 ladies I mean taking part so to us that is a plus and we are encouraging more ladies to come forth so that they join the sport because you know it's only not only about the sport it's about your lifestyle also uh, once once you are healthy we'll have a, a working nation yeah yes I mean from what I can see the sports needs sponsors to come on board as many sponsors as possible but uh, it's, it's something that it starts to your federation probably uh, is there something you're working on to try and bring in as many uh, sponsors in terms of in the next competitions uh, coming i know we have a lot of comp the mr kamega the mr kericho uh, is there something that the federation is working to at least th th these guys need sponsorship they need people to uh, hold their hand and be able to uh, push their career uh, forward and make it international sure uh, actually uh, our main challenge is on the sponsorship bit because uh, most of people uh, have not actually understood what bodybuilding is. Uh, they used to compare bodybuilding with, uh, you know, thuggish 